What's up everybody, once again my name is Matt and welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time 3D. In the last episode we got all the way to Kakariko, helped a crazy chicken lady, and robbed a grave. In this episode, well, we're gonna hang out with Dompe the Gravekeeper. I do want to make a quick side note, I went up to Hyrule Field, that way the in-game clock would be past 6pm. That's when Dompe comes out and he can hang out with us, so let's talk to him. Hey kid, don't mess around with the graves. I'm Dompe the Gravekeeper. My face may be scary, but I'm not a bad guy. Let me give you an advertisement for my side business. Dompe the Gravekeeper's heart-pounding grave-digging tour. What's gonna come out? What's gonna come out? When I start digging, we'll find out. And no, I don't want you to dig here because we're on solid stone, dude. Alright, so... Dompe's side business is actually kind of useful. Under one of these soft spots of soil is going to be a piece of heart. Now, I do want to find that. However, I believe its location is random. I've had it up here in at least three different areas before, so I'm just going to assume that it's random and that um, it's just a guessing game, really. So, let's start, I guess. I think there's like 10, maybe 12 of these soft spots. I don't know. I've never really counted. But, under one of them is that piece of heart, so here's what we're gonna do. If it's not under this second one, which by the way, if it is, I will be like the luckiest man alive. But, if it's not under this second one, I'm just going to cut around until I find it. So, let's cross our fingers, and... Absolutely nothing. Fantastic. Alright, I'll see you guys in a minute then. Ooh, what do we get? One rupee. Fantastic. Thanks, Dompe. You are a kind gentleman. Oh, wow, we found it already. That was really, really quick. I'm actually very surprised at that, but there we go, we got our first piece of heart. If we collect three more, we get another heart container. And there is a skull over here, however we can't get that just yet, so we'll be back for you a little bit later, my friend. There is a few other things that we can do in the graveyard. Now, I believe it is one, two, three, four, this grave that I want to open up. Yes, we're going to be robbing some more graves. And if we jump down here... Inside, well, there's actually a re-dead in here, so we're gonna take care of him real quick. Let's, uh, give myself a slight advantage and play the Sun Song, that way he gets stunned. Because we are actually gonna have to kill this re-dead, unfortunately. That is something that I desperately try to avoid when I can. So I'm gonna come up behind him and slash away. Come on, re-dead. Die, 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 die. Did we get- alright, cool, we got him. Crisis averted. Alright, anyways, let's play the Sun Song one more time, just to make sure he's dead. Actually, that's not the reason behind that. The reason behind that is because, well, you'll see in a second here. It causes this chest to appear. Yeah, I know, we just learned the Sun Song in the last episode, and they're already making use of it. That's how you know it's important. And inside this chest, we are going to have... Another piece of heart, so there we go. Already got two down, only two to go. And I think there is one other grave that we need to rob while we're here. Um, this one can be tricky to find. Actually, before we rob this grave, since it's already nighttime, uh, let's go into the main Kakariko village real quick. Because I do want to get some Skulltulas. I mean, technically speaking, we could go to the grave now, but it would be kind of out of order. And I want to do it in order, so let's grab the Skulltulas real quick. So, since it's nighttime, I believe there are... Five Skulltulas in Kakariko Village. Let's try and get all of them right now. I think we can get all of them now. We don't have to really wait until we get another item or anything like that. But the first one is going to be over here on this little brick building that's being built. So we'll just use our slingshot to bash that guy's face in. We'll grab our very first Skulltula. The next one is going to be over here on the side of this building. Which, by the way, we're going to go inside in a second. Because there's something that I do want to show off. Um, Let's kill this guy. There we go, and I believe there's another one over by this tree, but hey, check it out. There's a very creepy looking guy, but this guy is... I don't like this guy. Let's talk to him. Or instead, try to pick up a bush. No, I want to talk to him. People are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting too. Well, actually, sir, you're kind of disgusting. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Let's clear out these bushes so I don't want to accidentally try and pick one up again and be a macho man. But if we roll under that tree, we get another Skulltula right there. Nicely done. So there is two more to collect, I believe. One of them is going to be up by the uh, guards that I actually do want to talk to, because we haven't talked to him yet. 
So let's do that. Actually, hang on. There's another one that I want to collect right over here by this ladder. If we take out our slingshot, you can see him all the way up there. Now, a lot of times people wait until they have another item to get this skull club, but you don't have to. And since we're already here, why not? I mean, sure, it takes a few seconds longer to climb this ladder, but hey, I mean, I'd rather get out of the way now than later. And there we go. There should only be one more skull club because we collected four so far, right? I haven't been really keeping count. Alright, so the last one should be up and over by this here building. Sweet. There we go. Let's take him out. And grab that skill soul and a few extra rupees. Because we did spend a lot trying to get that piece of heart from Dompe. Alright, I do want to talk to this guard though. So let's see what he has to say. The road is closed beyond this point. Can't you read the sign over there? Yeah. Oh, I see. You're just a kid. And you can't read yet. Don't laugh at me because I haven't learned. That's not very nice. However, if we show him this letter that we got from Zelda... Oh, this is... This is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see. Hmm, okay. This is Link. He's under my orders to save Hyrule. What kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, alright. You can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. Are you doubting us? This guy, I don't think he... I don't think he thinks we're legit. It's not very nice. By the way, Mr. Hero... If you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it, just because of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking. Have you been to the Happy Mask Shop that just opened up at Hyrule Castle Town Market? Everyone is talking about it. My little boy passes me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to go there. So could you go and get the mask for me next time you're in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but... Well, I have no choice. This is my job. Sigh. You know what? I kind of feel bad for this guy now. He did make fun of us before, but he's got a rough life standing there guard all day. But we do need a proper shield before we can take on Death Mountain. And he did say we could get a discount if we go to Hyrule Castle Market. However... I have another greater discount. If we go and rob another grave, we can get a shield for free. So, you know what? Free is always better than paying for something. So let's do that. And I forgot to go in the house that I wanted to go to. So we'll go in that in a minute, actually. First, let's go grab this uh, this, this shield. So, the grave that we want to open up has these flowers in front of it. These are actually harder to see on the 3DS version. They're really, really easy to spot on the N64 version. But if we pull this grave back... There's another hole that we can jump down and go into. Now, there's a chest right here, but that wall in back of it, although it is breakable, we don't have the item to break it yet. So for now, we'll just have to grab this chest, which contains the Hylian Shield. So there we go. That's a much better shield than the one we have. We can equip it now. However, since we are a kid, it's a little bit too heavy for us, and we can't actually put it out in front of us. Instead, we do this weird, like, turtle maneuver. And this actually does bring up something that I wish they updated on the 3S version of the game. Like, look at the, look at Link's frame of animation here. I'm going to try and get a side view real quick. But, like, he goes from standing straight up to, like, 90 degrees. There's no, like, in-between frames of animation. It's it's kind of bad. Like, back in the day on the N64, I understand why they did it because of, like, limitations and stuff like that. But it would have been nice for them to, like, remake the animations for the 3DS port. Uh, anyways, though, actually, you know what? It's probably best that we re-equip our Deku shield for right now. Now let's go in that house back in uh, Kakariko Village that I wanted to go into, but totally slipped my mind. There is something important in there that I do want to collect, which is kind of actually stunning that I forgot to pick this up, because it is a very important item that we're about to get. Alright, so there's no sign of what this house is, but if we go inside, well the game's going to tell us, of course, that it is the House of Skultula, and it looks kind of creepy in there, and... Oh, check this guy out. That is... That is just the creepiest looking thing ever. I mean, oh, and it even blinks. That is disgusting. Alright, let's talk to it. We look like this because of the spider's curse, but... Since you've destroyed 11 spiders of the curse, the curse is starting to weaken. Did the kids who returned to normal give you any rewards? You should know that the only way to become very rich is to destroy as many spiders of the curse as possible. There are some tricks to finding them all. First of all, you have to hunt at night. Secondly, keep in mind that they love soft soil. Pay close attention to your surroundings. Please, we're counting on you. 
All right, well, besides talking to the creepy Spider-Man, there's a kid over here that actually returned to normal because we collected 10 Skulltulas. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. And for doing that, he gives us the adult wallet, which allows us to hold 200 rupees, which is really, really awesome because we could only hold 99 before, and that was not enough at all. So now at least we can hold up to 200. We can get another wallet upgrade later on, but for now, we should be pretty good with that. Um... I don't think there's anything else that I do want to do in Kakariko right now, so you know what, let's make a day. And see if we can't head over to Hyrule Castle Market. There is something I do want to do there, besides getting the mask for that, uh, that poor innocent guard that can't leave his post because he's working for the man. I do actually want to pick up another upgrade to something that I probably should have picked up the first time we were in Hyrule Castle Market, but, you know, it slipped my mind, so what can I say? I mean, it's not like we have anything better to do. We are like Link, the hero of pra of procrastination, really. We haven't done anything to like save the world yet. We've been just like robbing graves, doing a bunch of other stuff that's probably illegal that we shouldn't do. And now we're going to go back to the market, do a bit of shopping, and actually play some games. That is just ridiculous. We should really take saving the world a little bit more seriously. But I promise we will get to that in a little bit. There is just a lot of stuff to do right now and a lot of things to get early on in this game. And it's a good thing Hyrule is really, really close to Kakariko. Like, everything is sort of close by. I mean, there are a few areas on the map that take a while to get to, but we'll get a faster mo mode of travel a little bit later on. But, um, you know what? Now that we have gotten to the market, actually, the thing that I do want to do is going to take up a little bit of time. So, unfortunately, I think I'm going to call the episode here. So... Once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.